What up? It's your boys! Uh, so if you remember at the uh, end of last part, we were doing those optional bosses in Chapter 2. We're actually going to skip that for right now and go straight to Chapter 3. <laughs> this is a pretty long chapter, especially con uh, compared to Chapter 2. Pretty linear, but um, also has some pretty funny and silly stuff going on. So, let's get straight into it. Local magistrate in a small village surrounded by mountains has been charged with collecting rice from the farmers to pay the taxes established by the lord of the lands shrouded in an eerie mist the tired villagers have nowhere to run so once again the lord of the land just like the lady in chapter one are being terrible and i just feel like this is how it was for literally everyone except for like the literal lords of the land back then yeah so, we are going to be doing this a lot, where we just run past legions and legions and legions of enemies. Yeah, I will say that uh, one thing I wish this game was a little bit better at is uh, not make areas so massive and empty. Yeah. Like, it's, it's realistic in terms of scale, and it's kind of surprising that this is running like this well on the PS2 right? for such a low-budget PS2 game. But at the same time, it's like, oh, what are you doing? Just running through everything. Yeah, and that's literally what you just saw is, like, a lot of this chapter. What was that? Base subtitles. An earthquake. Something's not right about this mountain. Please stop. Someone needs help. This way. Thanks, Dororo. Forget if I have to go there. Yeah, I think I do. I was like, if it automatically does it, but it does not. So, we're gonna find- Literally damsel in distress. So we're just gonna take a quick second. Uh, if you notice, this game is mean to you and doesn't ever give you replenishments on the cannon or uh, arm. Uh, we're gonna get these, because these will be pretty helpful for a boss later. Yeah, and I like how you get one cannon. Not even just like two, one. Yep, just one. And we're also gonna, I guess I should've ran to this one first, but. We're gonna run over this one in the opposite corner and get one more. These will, uh, so this, <laughs> this chapter is very strange in that almost every boss we fight, well, every boss we fight except for one is like laughably easy. Uh, but the one boss is very difficult and a lot of the normal enemies are very difficult. So go figure that one out. This is actually one of the kind of tougher parts. I gotta be like a little careful about how I how I do this. There's the damsel in distress. She's just standing there too. It's a lot lot going on. <laughs> oh. Why you little? What's a big idea surrounding a little lady like that? Silence. This matter does not concern you. <laughs> that voice is me. I will not hand this temple over to you. Kill her. I told you to knock it off. Why would they not immediately just go? Looks like you want to go first, huh? <gasps> Let's see how well you do against someone your own size. Base Tiakimaru once again. So as it was, the sword was only meant to shed demon blood. Yep. Dororo, stay behind me. So, as it was with every single uh, battle of last chapter, this is a non, uh, non-killing non battle, non-lethal battle. 30! And we're going to do this a lot. Because <laughs> uh, that stuff can happen very quick. Like, you might think I'm being unfair, but I also have to kill... It's one against 30! And they take a lot. Cool, this is actually going very poorly, so. So when they come out, they first start swinging, which is something I gotta kind of remember and keep in mind. And just hope they don't spawn right next to me, just like that. Uh, cool. Thanks. 
that and help us out a little bit. So we're one third there. In fact, I would actually go as far to say that this might be the hardest thing. No, this is the second hardest thing in the whole chapter. You just don't want to get yourself where you're getting, like, comboed. I can't imagine doing this without doing this cheapo way of doing it. Just gotta get good, dude. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Damn it. Alright. Most of these guys be close to dead. We're gonna run away. And they still, of course, spawn right there. Okay. These guys. Run Zors. Can you pick up a better sword? I guess it's too late. Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, I can. Yeah, good point. In fact, I have two better swords. Thank you. This will be a little bit easier then. Yeah, thank you. Nice well, 30 Mine. versus 28 doesn't sound like a whole thing. Also, I think something... An item got dropped. It looked like a gold... Ooh, ooh, that's actually super helpful because that is invincibility. Whoa. Now you can be based. Now I can be like... Oh, it lasts five seconds. That should be a surprise to literally no one. Oh, I like how you have the flame tongue sword, I think it said, and it has that effect. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, this game has a lot of attention to detail it didn't really need to have, but is super dope. Also, if you think this game is going to uh, give me my life back after this, I don't want to guarantee it, but you probably have another thing coming. Where are these last two? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, I guess I guess this is how you're gonna be um, battling eventually when you get your arms back. No, you can you can uh, I think you can still use your. Uh, I kind of forget actually. That's a good point. I haven't gotten any further than chapter three, so not sure. Is that all? You insolent cur. Cur. Huh? I, Kagimitsu Daigo, shall deal with you. Father, you need not dirty your hands with these vagrants. Let us retire for the day. <laughs> Based. Can I just say that you're quite skilled, but next time you shall I would wear a kimono just for like um I think those are called kimonos for uh like comfort purposes. They just look very comfy. Sir. I think that's My name is uh, I forget what the guy uh yeah. I obviously I don't have know wrong. What the whatever the guy like robe type of things are seem very comfy. and I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> really little kids. <laughs> what happened here anyway? That, that samurai, Kagimitsu Daigo. He was going to burn down the temple. But we can't leave this place. We all lost our parents in wars. This is the only home we have. Who is that Daigo guy anyway? Oof. People say that he's trying to unite Japan voice under a single peaceful rule. Yet... He's taking over each region by force. Hmm. I don't see how fighting can bring peace and happiness. Fighting can't bring happiness? Let's go, Dororo. Take care, Mio. Thank you for your help. Another waifu ruined. I'm sure by the end... I skipped a lot of cutscenes. I'm sure by the end she's gonna be like, You did this! Yeah... We'll see. Somehow. Alright, so we're gonna do a lot of safety saves because it only takes like a second. And... Wouldn't it be cool if save points were uh, restored your health? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool if this game was fair? Uh, I will say that like a lot of the stuff you start to get uh, in terms of like when you like defeat enemies, you're starting to get like a lot of like. Um, good stuff back like one of the enemies we're gonna defeat is like hp plus 50 which is like a 10 percent increase which is pretty uh, uh, uh oh very nice but yeah this is a mountain village essentially thing and like a large but this is a very big like tribe said it's probably the biggest by far and just a lot of it is just like this is the Holy only crap. part this is the only part that's so not just like a like we never a, a path i only eat once every two days I can't take it. Looks like we won't find much to eat here. Cool. 
So, as it was in the first uh, chapter with that lady who was like taking everything the villagers had, it's pretty much essentially the same thing here. Where that guy we met, uh, D Diego, I think his name was. Nice. Um, Dude, why don't the villagers just beat up the stone statues and get free race balls? Yeah, freaking blubs. What a bunch of idiots. Also, this part is cutscene city. Listen, everyone. Lord Diego oh, yes. has come to Super fat guy. Heed his words. How come he's the only one who's fat around here? It appears that you have ignored my laws and have refused to pay the rice taxes. No, that ain't true. We've given our share of rice already. We've already given all the rice we've farmed. We've got nothing to do. Silence! The magistrate has told me everything. He said that you have all refused to give up your rice to pay the taxes. Do not expect me to be merciful. You shall learn not to defy me. My lord, please help us. Some magistrate. All the villagers are railed thin, but his belly is huge. Me. Silence, you well. That's how I move. Punish them. <laughs> Wait a minute, old man. What? You again? Look at these people. Hiyakimaru is literally Goku. In days. What good does it do Maybe even a better more? Goku. These are I know that's sacrilege, lands. but his word is law here. What do you say about Goku? Hiyakimaru is literally Goku. Goku. But maybe a that's better enough. Goku. Well, Goku is just so good natured that Remember, obviously he's a hero, but he's also a very basic character. Magistrate. Burning down the this just all of this reminds me of Dragon Ball, where like every single time it's like, village is afflicted with blah. I will walk through your village and save all of your lives. The end. Demon aura. That's how I walk. Should find out more about bum, this. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da 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 -da. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is I think we have to find yeah, we find it have to find the magistrate's house. Which is that little circular part near the top. But we're going to very, very slowly find our way over to that top right corner. Which earlier I was like, I wonder what this is. And boy. Let me tell ya. Stuff of legends. I'll give you a hint. It's a heck of a hint, lads. Does it start with F and end with D? Oh. It's like a boss. I said F and D. Fiend. Oh. Yeah. So, I think this boss is already a... Uh, I think we already saw one that looks like this. Or maybe something similar. I kind of forget. But I did mention that that, that there yeah, are so. there are a good amount of uh, rehashes. Oh yes, zero damage. Man, it's like it takes so little damage. That's like why even bother other than the invisibility frames. I think it's mostly the mostly the eye frames. Yeah. Maybe it's a weak point is its head. Try to double jump. Eh, yeah, it doesn't seem right there. It just seems like sometimes I randomly hit it. Also, this guy sure is putting up a fight. I'm gonna save that for next boss or whatever. This boss just does not know what to do against that move. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I was like, maybe I won't get hit, and I didn't. <laughs> My butt! <laughs> what if he gets a butt? My glutes! Based. I have the glutes now. We got adrenal glands. Small organ that secretes adrenaline. Uh, improved speed, that's nice. I will take that, especially for this... Long chapter with a lot of running. So yeah, there's that. 
Uh, now we're gonna go back. Hello. We're gonna go to the magistrate's house, which took me forever to find because I like had to go along the entire thing, and I was like, "How do I get here?" Yeah, I love the map that is uh, the size of a penny. Yeah, for like a huge area. Yeah. Self was screaming. Maybe something's inside the mountain. Maybe. Me. Hey, me. I'd recognize me. that pot belly anywhere. The magistrate. <laughs> I'd recognize that pot belly you just saw two minutes ago. Maybe he's hogging the food to himself. Hmm. Hmm. What's he being cautious about? The deductive skulls here. here. <laughs> Yucky, I'm gonna follow him. See what he's up to. Everyone's. I'll head back to the temple. I'm worried about something that goes sad. Gotcha. What? You have to do Careful. stupid Doro part? Uh, it's really not that bad. Follow the magistrate that goes two seconds? No, like, this one, seconds. like, literally, you don't even have to follow, luckily. Okay. I know. I'm like... What? <laughs> Her sprint looks so weird. I guess I'll save. I don't even feel like I need to, but... Here we are. It takes, it takes a second. And I would be pretty upset if I randomly died. I'd be even more upset if I died on any of these upcoming bosses, but whatever. Dum da dum da dum da 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 dum da dum da dum. Me. Oh, so uh, if you see at the top that little like no camera thing means uh, that you can't. Uh, well, I wonder if I get those for Yaki. It means, of course, you can't change the camera angle. And boy, let me tell you that running down here with that same uh like fixed camera sure is lame oh the other way yeah i don't know if it's something that they like had to do also if you see like when i like stop running and like turn around it's to like kind of almost let the camera catch up to me for a brief second just so i know exactly when i have to jump remember the levels in crash 2 to get all the gems, you have to do that exact thing where you go against the camera, oh. and it's designed that way. Oh man, some of the gems in Crash 2 are the worst. Not only are... Looks like the magistrate went inside that cave. Wow. Mm. I'll go check it out. That was a really important cutscene yes, to exist. Like like, half the time, I and think they... really needed his uh, theme song. I, I think that they just do that to be like, hey, Doro needs stuff. Alright, this is the craziest puzzle of all time. I kind of remember this for some reason. Oh, uh, gotta, like, do this. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know any way to do it faster, unfortunately. Get there. Oh, this is kind of like Dino Crisis because I let go a while ago. Oh, uh, it was like a set mile distance. Yeah. So for you oh. math whizzes out there, <laughs> each one of these does 50. So 50 plus 50 is, guess what, 100. And I think, what, what was You weigh 26, 26 somehow, so which is doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me this thing weighs double Doro and yeah. not like 50 times as much, but yeah, whatever. She, she can just easily move it too. Uh, so yeah, we need to move this and then two of those small boxes, which are, uh, which are 10 apiece. So very, uh, riveting stuff. I know. Also, stop it. Also, stop it. Oh, that actually went a lot better. The last time I tried to move it, it like took me forever to get the angle just right. Okay, that should be fine. Yay. Uh, yeah. Woot! Epic. Are you saying the magistrate is exactly 146? I guess. I guess that's what it's implying. Which is based. Those boxes must be made out of, like, balsa wood. Mio, you're safe. Is something wrong, Shakimaru? No, I was just worried that Daigo and his goons would come back. No, we're fine. Good. No, we're fine. 
just he wanted to see you, girl. Burning down the temple, so it got me. Just want to make sure you're okay, girl. You okay? How you doing, girl? Any way to protect yourself if he comes back? Um. These kids look so. Aren't you gonna fight? Dumb. War is what took away our homes and our families. More fighting will only give birth to more pain and hatred. Oh, that's the Nothing angle that they're going with this. Nothing good can come of fighting. But what good does that do you if you're dead? Maybe you're right, but if we can convince even one person to believe what we believe, the world would be a much more peaceful place. Hmm. What? In the meantime. Like, I understand the mentality, but you live in feudal Japan and everything is the worst. So, uh, good luck with that mentality for now. I would give it another, uh, 500 years. Yeah, and then you could be like, alright. Until people can, like, feed themselves. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what, like, exact time period this takes place. I'm sure there's something saying it. I don't imagine there's something. Oh crap, I forgot, I forgot about this boss. Ah, uh, the horn is the weak horn. Gorilla. Oh goodness, yeah. Wow. Wowie zowie, holy crap. It's like this game didn't understand that they made this move. <laughs> All you have to do is jump and press attack and you do that move. Wow. Wow. I did not know that the first time. I played it very safe and just ran behind it. Oh, is he getting an eye back? No. Oh, is he hearing? Yeah. I think this one gives you, like, a lot of good, ex uh, like, life up and stuff. Yeah, so we got... No, this one's okay. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, press, uh, so it like gives you kind of like your like uh, balance and stuff. So when you get uh, uh when you ear. get knocked down, you can kind of like recover in air, which that is pretty cool. Ooh, that's nice. Surprised you, huh? I just I I know this game is not perfect by any means, but I just love this game. My body were stolen by. I just can forgive a lot of every time I kill mistakes in this game because obviously this was probably made with such a shoestring budget. Yeah, and also it's unlike any other game ever made yeah, in history. Selfish of me to say that nothing good could come of Like the story sometimes can be silly and disjointed, where like all of a sudden I know he says I'm going back to the. I think you're right. Temple. That's the way the but it's just like all of a sudden it's like, I'm hey, sorry. I'm back at the temple. That's all right. Oh my god, there's a fiend. Okay, I gotta get back. Such a pretty voice, though. Oh. Whoa. I always wondered what it felt like to hear a person's voice. That's what I say. While those kids just stand there looking like dummies. Okay, so we are going to uh, do some do some more. Do ro ro do ro do. And this is actually the part I would consider to be like actually decently like gameplay. Eh. Whatever. You're gonna die. All day, every day. Hello. The other tigers, guys. Yeah, I need to get some of these knives just to be safe. It's weird that they just call them knives and not kunai. I guess, I guess it's different. I don't know. It looks like a kunai. Maybe. I do not know what a kunai is. I assume it's a Japanese like. I think it's a throwing knife. Oh, is it like the stuff like in the shinobi games and whatever? Yeah, it usually has like a um, like a ring on the end so they can like handle them with their fingers. Ah! Damn it! Must you? Everyone's favorite. Man, I miss being a 10 year old and being able to double jump. Double jumping is life. Okay. Like every game before the 360 era, uh. Cool. I don't even have to kill it, but I just figure otherwise I would somehow get knocked. Okay, so what now, now you'll see in a sec. Now what we want to do is we want to change it from smoke bomb to throwing knife. I, I actually had to look this up because I could not figure out what to do. Uh, then you come over here. 
and you. No, no, no. Wait. There we go. Use the throwing knife, and then you jump on it. And I guarantee that's how you get up here. Okay, mate. All right. Maybe you have to like jump and use it. It doesn't look like you have enough height. Huh. Maybe jump once and then throw it. Alright, well that'll work. It's weird, because I, I did it that way last time and it was fine. Anyway, that's that's the only time you have to use it, so I don't need any more throwing knives or anything. Uh yeah, it was weird. Because I know the first time for a fact I didn't jump, but that makes that definitely makes sense. But yeah, I did not know that you could you could use the throwing knives in that way. They give you a hint because there's one, like, in the wall over on the other side. So they do give you that hint, but... Yeah, but I, still pretty awkward. I, I had to look that up. I had no idea. Hi. Yeah, that's right. And then we open this. And this is... Don't mess with me. Yeah, that's right, Doro. Alright. And here we are. <laughs> I wish that was me. God, I wish that was me. Uh, I know, but <laughs> she's she was knocked out. Oh, she was like being yeah. I see what you're saying, being knocked out, but still being like I'm gonna use my telekinesis power. Blah. Dororo. the magistrate's warehouse, mountain cave. Hang in there, Dororo. I'm coming for you. Mio, like I said, Daigo's soldiers may come back. Hide inside the temple. Okay, we will. I actually would not be surprised that at the end of the chapter, they're just dead. Yeah, I skipped all cutscenes. And also, because of limited time earlier, I actually did not finish the chapter. Although I got to where, like, the, the final boss would be. And everything in this game is, like... Everything in this chapter, excuse me, is, like... Whatever. It's, like, very, um... Uh... Linear, so... After a while, after I did that part and I went a little further, I was like, yeah, this is very linear, I'm fine. So, it could be. And also, like I said, I skipped all cutscenes, so... That's all news to me, baby. Yeah, I like those, uh... These guys that appear, and the first thing to do is just shoot you. Like, I almost want to kill only them, because they're such jerks. But imagine this game if you didn't have that spinny attack. It's not an auto-death if you fall in there. It just takes a little bit of damage, but... It'd be cool if it was an auto-death. I'd be a big fan. I was gonna say, not only did I didn't think I made that, but then I got shot. Cool. Oh, uh, talking about auto deaths. <laughs> for some reason, I decided to watch uh, my Mega Man 9 and 10 LPs. I don't know what was wrong with me. My Mega Man 9 one, I was complaining about the game being hard, and I was a little it frustrated. It is. Mega Man 9 is very hard. But Mega Man 10, for whatever reason, I was. I sound so mad. For like no reason, I was like, "What is wrong with me?" Rip. And like way. Parker just asked me a question about the energy balance, and I was like, "What does it matter?" I was like, well, "What was wrong with you that day?" <laughs> <laughs> we lost so many subscribers. Jk. All right, so this is both of those Mega Man parts have like five. Years <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, this uh, this uh, this boss is quite a thing. This is Fire Golem. Oh, yeah. Dang, this moves. <laughs> you don't want to be next to him when he pops up because it like hurts you for some reason, even though all he's doing is just like like jumping up. 
Oh, he's actually... Uh, he almost did that. Did, was that the noise I thought it was? Was that literally the... <laughs> I don't think so. It sort of sounds like it. I, I can see what you're, uh, what you're doing. So, do you see what I was saying about the bosses in this chapter so far? And maybe it's because I'm being El Cheapo with... Oh, no, oh crap. Wait. D d no damage at all. Yeah, I have this feeling that this game just did not, like, realize you could just do that move over and over. <laughs> this one's a pretty big one. Oh, your stomach? Yep. Nice. Yeah, that's probably a pretty good... If I could do without one body part, it would be like, and I could still survive, it'd be like my stomach and stuff. Because it would be like, oh. yeah, max HP 42. But it'd be like, oh, you can still survive, but you don't have to eat like every day all the time Is for like energy. I'd be like, okay. I'd be like, that's fine. Yeah, I hate it. I don't know. Like, I, I, I like, like food and stuff, but if you could be like, Oh, you would have this ability to not have to eat, and you wouldn't have, like, your digestive system, and you'd still be, like, the same otherwise. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. I'll say it like this. I hate making food more than I like eating food. So, like, if someone just gave me all my meals, like, yeah, I'd be like, okay, cool. Eating is cool. What am I doing? But, like, unless you just make, like, the most basic meals in the world or only eat prepackaged stuff, making meals is such a waste of time, and I hate it does take oh that was nice it does it does i it can does see, take a lot i can see people like having fun with cooking but like i want to use my time like it's weird because yeah. i obviously don't work a whole lot and i don't really do too much but uh i have a very specific way that i spend my time and i want to maximize every minute that i have <laughs> me Yaki, the magistrate is somewhere in this cave oh if you want to see the dumbest the dumbest, um, like, specific, um, I guess, goal thing you have to do, it's coming up in a second. I don't know. It's right here. This annihilation battle. Kill all the demons, right? And, like, it does this whole thing where it, like, has this cool, whatever, base. And then there are eight of, essentially eight of these. Oh, you have another combo modifier. That's cool. Oh, if you saw that move I just did, that's the, uh... Try some of your triangle combos for the longer ones. Oh, that's so cool. And that was it. Like, it's like, why, what's the, what's the, what's literally the point? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it was like, and I did that worse than I did the first time. It's just like, eight easy enemies, like, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna save... For the heck of it. Oh, I can save here. Right before the final boss. I can save my game here. Uh let's see. Okay. I'm gonna continue. I, I couldn't figure this out for a while. You have to find the fourth one here and hit it. And that's what that's how it opens. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I just got lucky by just jumping around and then getting it. Okay. And then we are at that room. Huh? A demon aura. I can't eat anymore. I still hunger. You must eat it all. Oh, 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 oh. He's behind all this. That's me. Oh, no. I still hunger. Forget if this automatically goes to the boss or not. It'd be pretty cool. If I think it does. Know. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird looking demon. The sound is getting louder. Help! Help! What's wrong? Mio's been kidnapped. What? Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Story. I have seen a vision of a temple burning. As it burned, I became free. To complete the circle, I am to sacrifice a young life to the mountain. And when it is done, 
my day of victory will be at hand. The day that I finally unite this country under my rule. Ne All shall bow and rejoice in the power of Kagemitsu Daigo. I wonder if Kagemitsu Daigo was a real person. Well, look it up! This... Do I have to... That's right, I have to literally run up here. God. This is why this part's so long, is like, a lot of like, intermediate cuts... Oh, here we go. Here's an example of this unskippable cam camera angle. And it's real hard. Ooh, nice cannon. That's useful for later. Okay, that's good too. Oh god, the fact that I can't change this camera. So apparently so he's bad. not a real person, but uh, apparently in the manga, and also they, I guess they did a 2019 just... remake of this. Wow. Maybe he was the main antagonist. Interesting. Which is weird. Maybe he's more important later on in this. I don't what remember the story at all. Here? Have you come all this way to save this wretched girl? <laughs> what? It's the demon. He wasn't satisfied, so now he's turned to eating people. What, what matter of, of creature is this? Hey, he's getting away! Forget him! <laughs> Me. Okay, so, get ready for this. Boss of all bosses. The king of all bosses. Gaping. You'll never guess. What? Cool fight. Believe it or not. Holy crap, his helicopter move. Believe it or not, earlier he never did that one time. Dude, he's BTFO in here. Wow, I don't understand this because he, like. Maybe it's because I did this more often last time. But I just kind of want to end it quicker. Yeah, he's so short that it's pretty awkward. It's pretty nice that you can do uh, mid air recovery now. Yeah, literally, he never did a single attack the first time I fought him. So I was like, does he even have an attack? Mio! I was wondering why I didn't get a ability last time when I fought it. Again, I skipped all cutscenes. Huh. I show the children a world without war, without suffering. Rip. You know when I said that like ten minutes ago, I really did not remember this. Mio. Mio has rocked for a long, long time. out a powerful fiend lives inside this mountain gotcha <laughs> the temple was built to keep the fiend sealed within the magistrate's demon was probably keeping the fiend nourished hey how's it going so yeah this is the hard boss uh it's uh what's what's the What's the boss from, uh, Ocarina of Time? Are you talking about the, the, the shadow yeah. temple boss? Uh, Bongo Bongo or whatever? Yeah, it's something like that. So our goal is to get him to put his hand down. Which, I don't know if he does in this form. I'm hoping he does. Hello? Arrow. Might as well just attack him when he does that. Unless he has some specific move. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Just Don't. slow down. Yeah. Holy crap, what the heck? Well, the thing is, he, like, is pretty tough, so the fact, and, like, the amount of time you have is not that great, so the fact that it takes a lot, I think, is on purpose. 
Ah. I like how this, uh, this battle... Damn it, that takes, like, nothing. I was hoping I could, like, chip damage him to death. But if you get close to him, he'll just, uh... So, well, the one hit... Okay, like, getting so... close to him is, like... Not a thing. You can tell, like you, like if you get the damage in just right, you can like almost kill him in one second. But yeah. but then, but the chance of it happening, it was just because the first time he let you do so much damage that it was easier than it is. Also, you might just be better because. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay. Yes, so we'll help. Unfortunately, that is not the only time you fight that boss. How the hell are we supposed to fight an entire mountain? Hey, Yaki, maybe there's something in the temple below. Mm. I'll go check it out. Watch yourself, Dororo. What? You just agree to it? He's probably sick of Dororo. He's like, just go away. It's like, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, uh, why don't you go ahead and just, uh, pause it here, and then we'll, uh, see you guys in one second. Bada boom.